That was a friend of our stuff, the same friend we bought this stuff off of. Um, and this is all ours. I'll give you guys a first glance to see what's in here before I get it all unpacked. Got a lot of cool stuff here. Keg for a gas tank. <laughs> you seem a little nervous about that. Where do you see how small this thing is? Yeah. Alright, let's get this stuff unloaded.
Alright, I gotta slide up to the motor. Holy backwards. But uh, there's the new project. Uh, I don't know if you want to just call it rad, but we're gonna figure something out. Turbo Junior. We ain't got a turbo yet. <laughs> can I sit in it? If you can squeeze in the window. Oh, I can squeeze the window. The doors are welded shut. Who would do that? Well, we didn't want them to flop around. Well, they what are you supposed to do with that bar? Well, they were doing the chop and stuff. They didn't want everything Step to over move it? around. So they what, is that bar? what is the bar to? Right now, it's just holding the cab together. Oh, got it. Well, my thigh fits. We got oh. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you, but this hold window up. does. Wait, hold up. I want to go through this uh, window. <laughs> I don't know how much less is going to go in. My thigh fits through the window. Look at her. Yeah, her thigh fit in the window. You ready for this? You ready? Haley doesn't fit in the window. That's that that means those windows are small. Let me if I got both feet in and just Oh yeah, my feet <laughs> Wow. Wow. All right, she's got a new home right next to the 66. So, I'm not gonna do much today because <sighs> I'm tired. A lot of this, like, we're gonna get up close. I mean, this is 90 year old metal. A little spots here. We're gonna have to try and fix that up. This isn't up close to the chop they did. Not a big fan. But, like, we'll weld this in, grind it down. But we're going to have to fix their chop and figure out what they were thinking. But, to start, I'm going to take this wondrous marker. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to get some tape. I'm going to start measuring all the windows and figure out what's going where so that I can figure out if this top is even straight. If you look at it from the front, it looks like this side is higher than that side. It almost looks like it curves that way. So, we're going to have to piddle with it, but we'll make it work. And then once we get everything kind of in place, then we'll have to get the cab in place. Like, you know, this one's overhanging here, and then they got a gap down here. It's They weren't... We weren't 100% thinking. That side looks right. But they got the door handle ripped out, so we'll have to fix that. But we'll push out some of the dents, but we're going to leave a lot of it. We'll fix some of the rest. We'll leave some of it. And the goal is to have this look. And after we get this all done and ground, we'll use maybe some vinegar set up to rust this. And then 
Like we'll smooth it and then we'll do the rusting technique and then clear it all in and do a clear cut. That should make it pretty cool. But I'm going to set you guys down. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start measuring, marking, and see what we have and where so that I can start making a plan. And then obviously I'm going to have to figure out the back because it looks like they were going to channel it and I am not. Tell you why. That Mustang has just enough headroom for me. And you see where the floor is. You see where the roof is. If I put this on a regular frame, with the floor going across, it's going to be maybe just a smidge higher. And it'll give me enough room for my head. Because I'm not short. So, we got to be careful. You can see, it does have a dash in it. It's painted a pretty blue with like a white up there. I'm not sure what the original was supposed to be. But my thoughts are leave the outside ratty. Find a color that's close to this and do the dash in the like the doors can be painted black on the inside. Do the dash and in the inside here all in a nice pretty paint job on the inside. And then have it all ratted out on the outside. See what happens. But uh, let's get to work. Really? I can drive to North Carolina. I can restore and paint cars. Can't find the end of a tape. All right, so here's the deal. Everything measures out right. It's not the greatest of welding mm. setup, but everything does measure right, except for here. So when they did this, they didn't have it set right. So this needs to go down to match that. This door is too low. So this whole cab is like cocked like that. So I'm going to have to cut the welds, bring the door up, like cut this out, cut that, bring the door up to where it's straight like it should be, then re-weld it here, then bring this into match, and start welding across. Um, it's just work, but I don't have time to deal with it right now. Uh, we got everything in, we got everything set up. Um, I got the transmission here. This is the 700R4 that came with the setup. I don't know if we'll use it, but yeah, a lot of stuff. I'm actually pretty excited. There's a lot of cool stuff set up here. 
We're going to have a lot of fun. In the meantime, I figured I'd just make this little announcement so you guys could see and enjoy what we've been working on behind the scenes. Uh, this has been in the works for about two months. I think it's two months now. So we're going to get her going. We're going to start figuring out what parts we're going to need. Um, it came with metal to build a custom frame. Um, we were taking measurements, and I think I'm going to find an MGB. My dad and I were looking, and we measured, and it was his idea that uh, MGA, MGB is about the same size, and this entire truck would fit perfectly on an MGB frame. So we're probably going to search for that, and then if we need to, we can change, we can change the rear axle or you know front axles. Or we could just get adapters and go to different wheels. But either way, it'd be nice to have a good solid frame under it. So that's the plan. That's what we're thinking about. Still so cool. Till next time, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the flip side.